to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. <laughs> Welcome to Ross Patterson Revolution. <laughs> this, James, is your fir- I think it's your first interview with another human. I know. Wow, I'm really yeah, glad yeah, yeah. I could be your first. He allowed me on the show. Yeah. Usually yeah. I don't I don't yeah. let her interview guests. Yeah, cuz it's Especially it can get it's weird. <laughs> yeah, cuz it's a lot of racial slurs out of this one. Well, no, I know um, you can't really trust her, but it's good you're next to her right now, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 to, like, yeah, yeah. Keep her, yeah, just to hit her which no. Cuz my back, my backhand will only reach so far. So far, yeah. Yeah, just a nice little rap on the beak. You just got a reminder, you know. <laughs> yeah. Even uh, when we're out, you know, even when we're outnumbering him, we're still yeah. like bowing down to, to him. The, you yeah. have to, obviously. I'm it's the man. hard when he's I don't tall, even know. Though. Yeah. I think at some point we just will start talking to each other. But oh, go for ahead. Sure. Well, we'll <laughs> let him ask a couple questions. Yeah, you you right? will and you won't. You will and you won't. Uh, speaking of rap. We got a we got a rapper here today, yeah. Syrah. Yeah. Look at that segue, Syrah. <laughs> that was strong. You were you're a part of every single workout mixtape from now <laughs> until the history of time. I am. I actually can say that. That is a big flex. It's a weird flex, but okay. It's awesome. I like yeah. it. But it's, it's awesome it because <laughs> look, you won a Grammy for the Skrillex song and it's uh Bangarang. Yep. I challenge you. Oh, if boy. you're at home right now and you don't know that song, put it on, you'll immediately start doing curls. Yeah, I don't feel that way when I listen to myself, but I'm glad everyone else is inspired. You've you never know? worked out to your own shit? No, no. no. I ju- well, I don't really love to work out, so that's like half the battle. And then when I get there, I just end up sitting in the car for like 45, you know, listening <laughs> yeah. to mixes Scrolling and then slowly. Yeah. And then driving away. Where's that yeah, accent exactly. from? Kentucky? <laughs> Uh, yes! Wow, <laughs> he's bright. You know no it? wonder you've married him. <laughs> you know it. What accent? You been there? <laughs> Strip clubs are great in Kentucky. Oh, uh, <laughs> aren't they? I used to work at uh, Big Jim's Booby Bungalow for a long time. Wow! And you uh, that how did you guys night? meet? <laughs> I pulled her off the stage. <laughs> yeah. I said, "Look, you you can say goodbye to that small donkey and those ping pong balls forever." <laughs> Don't I strike you as a? stripper type it, yeah no that's what yeah, i was thinking when we were yeah. outside and i was like oh wish she wasn't wearing such a you know great sweater that- i know <laughs> this is an aggressive <laughs> color isn't it <laughs> i know well i thought because you're so cool yeah. oh is that why you feel yeah, like you're like yeah. so cool i, I did f- have a different co- i think it was like a black what color shirt did i have on before she before she came it said uh best mom ever yeah yeah it said like <laughs> Jesse, yeah, Jesse was like, I'm going to change it and go aggressive Sesame Street. Yeah, so then I saw her, I go, you know what? I have something bright. I'm going to put it on. Do you think that she'll like it? Yeah. And, and you were like, whatever, I don't care. And I'm like, cool, I think she'll like it. And, I, I <laughs> and said then we this. became friends. She's won a Grammy with Skrillex. I know, and I was like. She's probably on pure MDMA right now. Yeah. And you were like, yeah. bright yellow. I, I got to like, wear something bright yellow. I'm going to go like, back to her Sesame Street she days. She starts raving yeah. with the mic. She's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She starts smoking. <laughs> menth- menthol yeah, she's cools. cool. And you were like, she has one name. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Lucky. Jesse wants three? one name. I just you have, want one. You, yeah, you have name. three. Yeah. Yeah, have, she's yeah, got yeah, a yeah. she's a three namer. Like a loser. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry to hear that. But we could talk about it after. We um, can, yeah. Oh, yeah. How did you say to yourself in the <laughs> how mirror? It's time. How did you it's say time. to yourself in the mirror, you know what? Syra, it's time for you to have one name and one name only. We're ending everything else. I was actually gifted to me um, compliments of gangbanging. So if you want to, that's why I was saying we can talk about it later. Hang on. We're going <laughs> to. No, we have to talk about all of it. Back that up because uh, we've got some friends who no, are into we that. Some, we got some gangbangers so over here. You, no, no. He you were in a gangbang? Yeah. I was going through a weird time in my life uh, at 13, as most of us were. And uh, how many How many dudes were you having sex with? Oh, not a lot. No, 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 no. They wanted to. I was kind of like running some gang shit, cooking crystal meth. You know how that goes. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, gang banging. We're, yeah, we're, not banging. Just like, we're thinking about gang. fucking. Yeah, so I've never multiple been, groups of I've men. I've never time. been gang banged before. Got it. Got uh, it. Got okay, it. Okay, so just a well, little <laughs> clarification. <laughs> and I'm gonna help I'm you gonna out. Okay. Out and I'm. This. this is to help you. Yeah. Please, okay. Please do. <laughs> So just when you say gang bang, yeah, yeah, yeah. we should know what I mean. Yeah, we the shouldn't first say that. Thing that comes so to anyone's mind is, is 
is a lot of sex lot of, lot of inside of me. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, lot of dudes at one dicks. time. Uh, yeah, but you are talking about actually something cooler. Well, I don't know if it's cooler. Uh, I think it, it is. Cool. Um, it is easier, probably in the long run. You know what I mean? Well, it takes more time. <laughs> it takes <laughs> more time because the other one would be like, meh, meh, like yeah, yeah, real quick. Like a yeah, it's about thirty seconds of pure. Yeah, that just seems like a lot. I, I'm not really good at multitasking. Um, gotcha. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I definitely could have, you know, that could have been a path for me, but it's just like, oh, you want to, oh, no, where should I put my I arm? Know. You yeah. know? I know. I know. Yeah. Where are so. you going to put your feet? Yeah. Well, That's why I don't understand 69. Well, Dan, stop. Well. I, um, one time though, I did have <laughs> uh, a porn star stay at my house, but she never left. She like stayed with me for far too long. Don't but, they? But here's the weird <laughs> thing. She got gang banged. Well, when she left, I like went and looked this up because I was like, wait, you do porn? I thought she like made out with the neighbor. Sure. She looked like 13. You know what I mean? I was like, right, oh, that's cute. Right, you make right. out with your best friend at a slumber party. And then she left my house and I looked it up and she got gang banged, but also with like electrical uh, okay. Do you know yes. what I'm talking about? Ah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, where do you brush up on that? Like, how do you know you're into that? You right. Know? Like, you're like, God, I just wish I, my vagina was getting a electrocuted. Lot of time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, you know what would be fun? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Because I know you think of sometimes you're kind of like, oh, that'd be. It could right? be cool. Maybe I'll stick that yeah. there. But I don't think you're ever like, let me. Put, put a, a battery taser. charger. Yeah, put a taser into my mm-hmm, vagina mm-hmm. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. like 15 people. Then, ran, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of work. So shout out to her. The dedication. What's her name? You want to give her a special thanks? I don't really remember it. Otherwise, I would put her out there because it's <laughs> very fascinating porn. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Uh, so she was living with you? Yeah, I've taken in a lot of people. <laughs> I'm kind of a bleeding heart. Not anymore. You cannot stay with me, whoever you are. It's over. Um, but yeah, I've taken in a lot of different people. Uh, done a lot with like drug addicts, you know, just trying to help. Yeah, because sure. you do like life coach stuff. Life right? coaching. Yeah. Okay. Com- sober companioning. I was going to say companioning, but now I've already, I can't. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. And I'm yeah. yeah. sober escorting, escorting and yeah. we're like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. you, you might want to change the you. phrasing yeah. of these <laughs> words and sentences. We are going to change your life <laughs> yeah. with yeah. these new <laughs> phrases that you're going to you use. You might be yeah. coaching <laughs> other people's lives. We're However, coaching vocabulary. Yeah, we're going to work on the vocab here. You're right. This is an intervention, actually. Yeah. They're like, everyone's thought that you were so a can whore. you say who you've worked with or that's not part of it huh well it's not part of it i okay. have some clients that have come out and said right. it so like that said that you helped them yes okay yes publicly and there's you know a lot of different things that i've done within that like i'm kind of like the you know the plug we were talking about it earlier like if people need help you know with whatever Which going loved, to rehab yeah. um i also still do like mental health um events now teach people how to administer narcan all that kind of stuff Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if there's any of the people that you've worked with who have extra drugs, uh, Jesse would like you to send to those. To send them to mine. You know how yeah. they do this new thing where it's like, pill drop off, give your pills back. We'll just take them to your house. Yes. Okay. And so instead <laughs> of <laughs> instead of bringing them to the hospital or whatever, yeah. I'm going to just set up something at my house. Yeah. For like a shooting gallery. I love that for you. Just a little drop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop off because they're. For the weekends, though. The yeah, kids are with moms. the yes. yeah. Yeah, 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 moms. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mom's weekend, you know. <laughs> mom's <laughs> weekend. It's Zinfandel oh. and, and Valium. Uh, forget. I'm a. I am a mom. You are a mom. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes mom needs a little help, and that's what that song is about. Blammo. Yes. Mama's little helper. Mama's full little helper. Yeah, yeah, full circle. Yeah, just music. a little bit of. Yeah. Something. She's like, no, something. it's not a problem. I just it's not smoke. just a little bit of something to <laughs> keep, we'll uh, keep the demons like, away. But she weekend. diagnosed yep. me as a possible alcoholic. But we can talk about that. We later. Did. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. But in the elevator, well, we did from, have from floor three or whatever to twenty three. We went through it, and we, we can yeah. talk about that. Yeah, later. we hit a moment. There were some red flags. So <laughs> I did. I don't know. No, what they it wasn't are, which really. Is but there is an alarm, and she can't drink before the alarm. So I have an alarm set. <laughs> okay. See how long. <laughs> and wait, wait, wait. And this is I real. Do, yeah. And yeah, so did I have. Did you not know this? Half I didn't know this. Hour, okay. There's half an, an hour left before playing with the boys. We'll play on my phone <laughs> from, from Top Gun. From Top Gun. That's her alarm. And that is when I can grab. A beer, like have a have a drink. Yeah. I can't drink before that. And she was like, mm. "I'm like, what? <laughs> what is that about? Yeah, yeah. Why? like, what will happen? Normal people <laughs> don't need to like 
make sure they don't drink before a certain <laughs> time. Uh, they do and, and I was they don't. like, I don't know what you're, t- I don't know what well, that means. Well, I was like, why don't you just have a drink now? And you're like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. You're like, it's not we fun. Need to, she goes, we need to unpack that probably. Yeah. We need to talk <laughs> like, about that a little bit. We're going to talk about that yeah, later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's yeah. speak of unpacking. Let's go back to you gang banging at, at 13. Oh, sure. yeah, Were you yeah, in yeah, a gang? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was in a few different gangs. I did a lot of graffiti, and then I got caught up with some. You were a tagger. Yeah, was that oh, the name? Okay. And that's how we got Syrah. Ah. So I was very bright. Um, I was like, I, I bet they'll never figure this out because my real name is Sarah. Oh, so I oh, changed perfect. two letters and uh, changed no my one life. caught you. No, well, that's no, they amazing, caught me, it? but it's expunged now. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did, so they did catch you. <laughs> well, I got into some weird stuff where I allegedly kidnapped somebody and. A you know hu- how that uh, like a human? <laughs> yes. A yeah. man or woman? It was a woman. It was a misunderstanding. Uh, how old was this oh woman you, you, she you was took? She uh, was probably the same age as me at the time, but it was it was a weird thing. It was Mac 10's niece. Uh, he was in Thug Life with Tupac. Yeah. And so it was a whole weird thing. But anyway, next thing I knew, the SWAT team kicked the door down, and I didn't understand what was going on, but they said that I was trying to get her gang banged. Good job. Full ah. circle. You're welcome. And I was like, why would I ever do that? I love people. Um, yeah. So anyway, it was a. It why was, did you kidnap the niece? I didn't kidnap her, but she. Why did you take her on vacation? She, <laughs> yeah, we took her From trip. her house. No, I had her come over and I was trapping at the time and I had about like 20 dudes there and we all smoked a blunt. And next thing I knew, she like banged her head into the wall and like, do you, you know did you people. you say trapping? Trapping, yeah. yeah. Trapping. Mom. Cool. So yeah, expl- cool. Explain it to Jesse. Cool. <laughs> explain chest. She's like, I love no. traps. Because we do, Bear so we traps. do, we do highlight videos. Okay. Explain trapping to Jesse. Okay, Jesse. So when you're selling drugs, yes, right. You have a few phones. Got it. A few Obama phones, right? Okay. Okay. Bur- burners, right? Yep. Yeah. Burners. I the wire. Good job. Yep. yep. Super proud of you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you have the burners. You got the burners, and then people hit up the burners, and you go drop off. Drugs. Drugs. Drop off the stuff. And that's now the trapping is what part? Well, the trapping is it depends because sometimes when you're in the trap, you're trapping out of the house. So you're cooking in the kitchen. And I'm not talking about dinner at your house. Yeah. Yeah. No. And I've also up. seen Bre- Breaking Bad. Oh, so, you're so you cooking. know exactly. Jesse, don't play hard to get. No, here. but I don't know. Yeah. The tra- she the she knows about thing, the trap. The trapping thing I don't get. Just the name. What about bees in the trap? So that's what it is. You're cooking and then you're trapping other people. Yeah. You're, you're trapping them in a lifestyle. Exactly. That will bring yeah, them, you're, they're getting trapped. That will bring them down to their forever. Yes, yes, Correct. Yes, 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 yes. No, I like Actually, it. Okay. I like once they're trapped, then you're sending money forever. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a your, mood. It's a mood. It's a vibe. It's a, it's a mood. It's, it's a, a vibe. It's a lifestyle. Okay, cool. Now I feel sad about it, though. <laughs> no, I <laughs> like you're no, trapped no. forever. Yeah, I know. So I don't would, think that's what it is. Would you say you were a trap queen? Uh, I was a trap queen. I you would were. say that. I wouldn't look. I was doing. I was making a lot of money. I was doing a lot of different things. You know, I was multitasking at the time. Maybe. Of course, with Fetty, uh, was he, Fetty Wap involved? Yeah, me and Fetty Wap. He had one eye on it. I had the rest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so sorry. Who brought her? <laughs> Can we get a clean up on aisle three? Exactly. Um, yeah. So I was. Yeah, I was definitely doing a lot. I was stealing cars. We were selling them. Um, no shit. Yeah. What kind of cars? Any cars. But we would take them. We would put them on a tow truck, tow them somewhere, trap them up, and. No shit. Yeah. So, and this is no offense to you, by the way. But oh, you were a, you were a, 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 a small woman. <laughs> yes. White. Yes. How does a small white woman get involved in Are you that all world? White? I'm Italian. Yeah. You're so it's yeah. I don't know. Oh, if well, it's you want white. for me? I'm Italian. Yeah. Yeah. People are like white. I'm like I don't. But no, not like white. You can't. A normal white girl just can't start this herself. Who who started you off into this? Well, honestly, I think I was the worst influence out of the bunch. I don't know how I started to get involved in all these things, but I was from the age of like, I don't know, maybe 11. I was selling drugs. I was getting arrested. And then it just kind of I had to leave New York because I was getting arrested. They were going to put me into foster care. So I went to Los Angeles and then I just I made my way. I found the people and put people to work and, you know. Lived in Englewood. And <laughs> oh, no shit. So you were in Englewood. Oh, yeah. But I've been, your accent is not... It's New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you talk to my family, they're like, you sound like a fucking Californian. Right. You sound like an asshole. So so it's not thick enough anymore? No, it's not thick enough. No shit. <laughs> they probably get some valley girl in there a little oh, bit yeah, sometimes. Oh, yeah, they're like, loser, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. if your accent was any thicker, let's face it, 
You'd be fucking Sebastian Manacuco. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Forget about it. Forget about it. My you... wife's sauce is so fucking thick. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. That's my family, basically. I fucking love him, though. Did you ever see the special where he talks about, aren't you embarrassed? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I deeply <laughs> relate with so that he so speaks much. So to you. you. We've been wondering this forever. Oh, is no. it like Whose an Italian audience thing? that is, right? Oh, it's, yeah. It's an Italian okay, thing. It is. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. So he talks to all of the, the majority of New York. Now this and makes the sense. And the Italians and the Jews, though. It's both of us. Okay. Yeah. Now this makes sense. Okay. We, we wondered where his audience was. Cause it, it definitely isn't it's us. It's you guys. It's us. Because yeah, when he like, wore a pink funny, sweater. But I'm not uh, really going along with all the stories. You guys things. should come over to dinner on a Sunday when you're in New York oh God, next I would time. Love and then to. you'll really understand him. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Because it's fa- Everyone knows my mom uh, lied to me and told us we were Mexican, but she's actually Italian. <laughs> just, dead well, serious. And, and yeah. just, she and did so, a 23 and, so I and missed me. that no. whole... Yeah. You thought you were Mexican. My mom oh, lied That's a great to story. Me. You just are so... Okay. But yeah. her... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So imagine me, okay, <laughs> in school. She's being got blades like, on. No, I'm like telling my friends, like, I'm half Mexican. And they're like, <laughs> cool, I guess. I mean, there are some. No, like, what is that Mexico woman's City. name that pretended to be black? That's oh, you. yes, it was a Dozel situation. Yes. I didn't know I was doing it. So I was like Dozelling <laughs> and my, my mom was like like speaking broken Spanish because that's like what her mom did oh and like her mom lied to her and then she did 23 and me and found out she's Greek and Italian and I missed that whole um who is God should I pick it, it up we who is really that? have yes. that turned off do you ever yeah, do no, shows what are you doing this is your I first know. show it's and now alarm. she's the alarm. Oh. No, no. oh I had yeah, it yeah. on for the alarm get her um and so she did 23 and me she I and I missed that whole life and I felt more connected to that. I went to Mexico. I like spent time in Mexico <laughs> to be like my people, <laughs> right? This is real. And I like didn't really connect with it. And I was just like, okay, like maybe I'm just super. You're like, I'm too Americanized. I'm just I've super, lost my roots. Mama. Uh, yeah. Oh, mama and papa. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Biblioteca. <laughs> champagne. And I only knew like a toca la guitarra and all these like weird. Th- I didn't know actual Spanish. But. And, and wait, I'll take this a step further. So she watches our kids all the time. She's awesome. She owns a weed store. In I LA. thought you were talking about her. I was like, I hope so. She's but great. Yeah, that's yeah. what he calls watching yeah. his kids babysitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, she's kid. watching the kids, right? But with our youngest son, she hadn't done the test yet, right? So she was watching, have them watch Everything these Spanish. Spanish cartoons on YouTube over and over and over again <laughs> to learn part of their culture and be able to speak it or whatever. And I was like, so I asked her, I was like, what's the deal with this? Not and she was like, 1%. <laughs> yes. So- not 1%. So then she takes the test, oh. comes back that she's not even 1% Spanish. Or Mexican or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is awkward, yeah. Y- y- real yeah, awkward. So now but now our kids to... are hooked on these fucking videos of, <laughs> yeah. uh, what is it? I like Un them poquito? too. Paquito Pio. Oh, yeah. 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 I know about. You, you know, know, that's kind of yeah. fun, though, because they're going to no, be it's smarter so than everyone else's kids. And it is kids. actually way more fun than the stupid, like, sun, yeah, twinkle, twinkle. Yeah. A little, the white people. No, so yeah. Boring. Fucking, yeah, white and they people. they party. Oof. The kids' yeah. videos, Mexican kids. It's like a fucking... Freaking tailgate party, <laughs> party. Anyway, and your kids yeah. are gonna seem cooler too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, already, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. one of them started the building a wall around the TV as it's playing. <laughs> like, totally joking, but that's the next step. I was waiting for that. There's but anyways, the next step. Yeah. Enough about the lies that my family that your told family's me. been perpetuating. You oh, are no, actually I- Italian, and I'm jealous. Yes, but I want to ask you a question: Who started lying about? So it came down. It was two <laughs> generations. So it was the grandma. So your grandma lied two, two yeah. generations Correct. ago was an asshole. Mm-hmm. Yes, she may have been like. Six, you know, one sixteenth, like something little percent, not enough. And was like, oh, mm-hmm. oh. But to be fair, I've met her, and I thought, yeah, she's, sure, she's probably Mexican. She's like an olive skin, a darker looking Italian, right? So yeah. like dark, yeah, hair, well, Itali- olive skin. Oh yeah, right. Italians go real, yeah. Oh, you, the you gam- can't the tell gamut. the difference sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So that's what happens, that is and a thing. now you're trying to re- What is she? Sixty something. Yeah. So she's. It's hard to reverse uh, sixty years of thinking like you're Mexican. You feel like you got robbed. Yeah. Because yeah. how fun is it to be Italian? You tell me. Well, it's actually fun, and that's what I'm saying. Right? I need Full to go circle, to your house. You guys have to come over on a Sunday because then would you would understand. Yeah. Sebastian. You would uh, understand gravy? all of it. Yep. We for got Sunday gravy. gravy. 
Also, like, I went over two weekends ago, and they're, like, making these huge tomahawk steaks. Oh. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. Yes. big fans. I'm like, oh, you're making steak. And I'm like, you don't like to talk to the camera? And they're like, we're not from fucking Hollywood. Get that goddamn camera off me. We're cooking uh, Californias on the grill right now. The, the phones around. Yeah. yeah, they were saying the tomahawk, the, the steak was actually killed Californians, but they were grass fed. So that's my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. They were like, we're hilarious. making grass-fed Californians over here. Get <laughs> you off the fucking video. Come to your house. How yeah, fun you do. does that sound? I know. Yeah, you do. I, it sounds like a blast. You have a studio in your house? It's a good. Well, yeah, I've been traveling with my studio. <laughs> right, just rapping, right? Yeah. Just making music. I've been. Well, I drove from Los Angeles so I could have my studio. So I came out here. Dan, can you? I've been making music since I've been yeah. here. But That's crazy. I was saying, like, Skrillex called me. I did some stuff for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a bunch of different things since I've been here. I'm sure you pro- you're probably one of those people who ghostwrites a lot, too, right? Yeah, ghostwrites a lot. you don't, you don't lot. get any credit. Well, it depends. You get money. Yeah, you get money, which I love more than credit. <laughs> Same, yeah. Because credit, you're it. like, can I trade this in for money? They're like, no. No. You're like, cool. That's, fine. That's <laughs> cool. great. And your, oh, your cool ASCAP royalties are like <laughs> fucking, you know, and you're yeah. just like, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that better. Because I was doing my own music for a really long time. And then I was like, why? I make so much stuff. And, you know, I've got an identity crisis going on. My yes, girl. hello. Yeah. So then I just started sending it to other people. And it kind of like went from there. And it's easier because you don't have to go on tour. You don't have to be pretty. You could do it with pajamas on. I like anything that you could do in pajamas. It's funny. Love I was that. I always bring up this story. But I, I had uh, dinner one night with one of Katy Perry's writers. Mm-hmm. and Which one? I, uh, I, I, I can I tell know. you off air, I think. Yeah, well, okay, we'll talk about it later. Because um, I don't know how much they share. I know. Actually, you're right. Because that's why. You, yeah. yeah. I said, and that's why I didn't want to ask you. Because then yeah. I, I can't, I can I can't ask you who you're ghostwriting for. Pretty and much everything I do, I can't talk about, actually. I just realized. Right? Because <laughs> they don't want you to say. I'm like, life coaching, ghostwriting. I, she became a singer afterwards, is all I'll say. That's one of my best friends. It is? Yes. Great person. Phenomenal. I love her Fucking so Fucking awesome. Yes. Super talented writer, whatever. She was going over the schedule, and this is what I want to ask you about, of when Katie called, she had to go at like, yes. if it's fucking two in the morning, it's yep. two in the morning. Is that the same thing with you? Oh, absolutely. And I, it's probably worse for me. Like, I was talking to someone, and they were like, this is like a few months ago, they're like, why are you single? And I'm like, have you ever had like... A rapper FaceTime you at four in the morning, like, where you at? Come over right now. <laughs> like, famous yeah. rappers that doesn't do well banging with my line at 4 a.m. And I'm like, all right, bam, bye. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, it's, sure. And you have to, to go. And I go, you know, so in the middle of, you know, the night, I'm going to meet Juicy J. I'm going, you know, so it's. <laughs> and how do you explain that to your significant other? Yeah. And that was my question for her at dinner. I, I forget who she was dating at the time. But I was like, how is that relationship wise? She's like, it fucking sucks. No, it sucks. It sucks for them. And it's also, that's why I was saying too, she doesn't do like rap music. But when you have, especially like men that you're leaving for in the middle of the night, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause let, like, let's uh... face it. If, if you called and said, hey, so Juicy J just texted me at three in the morning. Right. And I've got to go over to the studio. Right. We would not be together, probably. No. No, probably not. Yeah. Uh, maybe 8-Ball or MJG, but not if Juicy was, Jump If kidding. he was banging my line, what is it? Banging, banging my, my line. line. Yeah. If he was banging I'm gonna my line. I'm going to give you a little cheat sheet for... Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Just a mom just, cheat yeah, sheet mom of... Cheat uh, cheat. When Juicy J is banging your line at 4 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, now's the point. We have sponsors, by the way. We oh, just cool. pay for this whole shit cool. to be on the Who air. paid for this? Which is weird, right? Yeah. No, I like, like I love people that pay for things. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, ghostbed.com com forward slash drinking bros is our love sponsor. That. You ever sleep on a ghost bed mattress? No, but I fucking need fucking phenomenal. They just ship to. it to your house. My opens up in a box. Um, oh, I my friend just and it pops. Yes, mm. it just That's pops exactly out. What it is. It's like a yeah. That's yes. ghost bed. I love those. The fucking best. I love those. Uh, the pillows they are feel amazing. Like real beds. Well, they are real beds. I know, but I'm saying yeah, when yeah, it yeah, pops yeah, out yeah. of a box that's this big, you're like, I don't, you're like, I don't fuck with that. Know. And then you get on it, and you're like, oh, this is I the know. greatest I've thing been ever. It's like out. an air mattress, yeah. but it's amazing. Yeah, no, they're yeah. so much better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's a real mat. It's it's the best. The pillows are the best. Thirty six month pay as you go program. How much is it? No one no. on the internet's doing that. It's thirty eight bucks a month if you do the no are interest. You kidding me? No, no interest. interest. Yeah. What? Get that for three years. That's it. Boom. Phenomenal. Get you a twin and roll it up. Take it with you on the road. You can gangbang on that yeah. in the traditional sense, by the way. <laughs> the way that, yeah. The, the way real the, gang. The real gang bang. The real gang, gang, gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're getting you, banged by a gang, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. If you're military or first responder, you get a 15% off forever. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click it, tick it, rip it, and you're good to go. If you're a regular human like ourselves, uh, the, the deals going on for Halloween and Black Friday are fucking ridiculous. Uh, next up, we get strikeforceenergy.com, Jabe. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Uh, Strike Force Energy <laughs> is the premier energy drink. We've got some in the White Claw right now. It's best with White Claw. There's not enough taste in these things. Uh, hopefully, Four Loco cures that. I think it's perfect. Um, Any who's. Pour a little, uh, just a little bit Strike Force strike in force. here. You're good to go. Five hours uh, plus worth of energy. No Ooh. carbs, no sugars, no fucking bulky cans. You can do it rectally. You ever put energy, <laughs> energy in rectally? I wasn't expecting that, but I like that. Yeah, yeah, you can put it in rectally. Yeah, I like. You I ever gone a suppository with? No, uh, I haven't, course? but I should have. Yeah, I missed the boat. You know, um, yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. in my prime at fourteen, I really should have. <laughs> <laughs> Back in her gang, bang. yeah, gang banging days. <laughs> Go to strikeforceenergy.com and gang bang a fucking forty pack. Uh, <laughs> They can ship it right to your house. They ship everywhere in the entire nation. Strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Last but not least, Jabe's StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. <laughs> oh, you like it? Yeah, there it is. That is that not their slogan. This is racist. We have adopted it as their slogan, and they have somehow not fired us in two not years sure why. worth of... I think if they listen to one, one episode, yeah, yeah, I don't look, I think they love Asians just as much as I do. And it's the superior culture and race. And we all understand that at straightrazors.com. You can go full fulcrum, shave everything, dude. Start with the eyebrows, go all the way down head, eyebrows, boom, hairless across the board, butts, butts, vaginas, balls. Yes. You can, you can shave all of it. Uh, You're welcome for all of this. Yeah. I was going (laughs) to Uh, you're welcome for every hole needs to be shaved. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code Is REVOLUTION, 20% you, off. Do you shave Get holes? a kit for Christmas for your papa. <laughs> your papa. <laughs> oh, papa. También. También. Mis, mis abuelos. Mis abuelos. Do you cut them off Fluid. or you just let them keep going? <laughs> it's mis Dan abuelos. <laughs> it's mis abuelos. Dan just shows it. his gun to yep. us yeah. and we like stop <laughs> okay. talking. Yeah, Do yeah. you know how many times uh, that like she still yeah. wakes up and screams Richie in the middle of the night? <laughs> Richie! <laughs> yeah, like when he, when he died in La Bamba. She still carries <laughs> yeah. that Mexican with, with her. That was one of my favorite Mexican movies. Do my people. Yeah. <laughs> Not my people. <laughs> Not my Not people. Not her people. <laughs> Um, Lou so, Diamond Phillips, I think, famously is Italian, not LDP. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. have to go do my twenty three and me when I get home now. Right? Do I'm, it. Now you I'm concerned. Never know. You know? Yeah. Well, I I think you we know. knew. I think we knew you weren't probably on that thing. But yeah, my God, again, but, I don't know what people were thinking no, when I, I would know. tell them up and up until two years ago. Yeah, yeah. I would not. No, she would. You could just be like, oh, I guess Spanish, maybe. I don't. We could, yeah, like, like from Rican, Spain, kind of. Yeah. Right, I will say right. this though: when she went outside, she got tan quicker than people, like other people in the <laughs> Which neighborhood. I do, and I was but like, that's Italian. Yeah, it's Italian. But I, I thought get, it was Mexican. Right? I turn like an orange though, yes. but I get darker than all my friends. Like a natural, you don't burn. No. you just get like a natural. No, I get awesome really dark. I have to tan. show. No, I kind of get like a little Donald Trump in in places. Really? Yeah, really? it's you kind go of orange, huh? it's kind of alarming. It's like an olive that goes too far though and then it starts to have this weird Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weird look about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it came out of a bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to show you. You've had a crazy Please. fucking life, dude. I have. You told us right before we started, we were talking about kids and you were like, "Yeah, I've adopted two." Yeah. I was like, "What?" Yeah. You're yeah. like Super young. You're childish. Yeah. How did you adopt two childish. children? I am childish. You've I should got know that about very me. six <laughs> features from Blossom. Yes. Yes. Very young features. Like a young six from mm-hmm. Blossom. Oh, I love this. Also, large compliments in this very tiny room. I know. Um. Yeah, I appreciate that. No, I just, you know, honestly, I I think people think I'm like a bleeding heart humanitarian, which I guess I would be, you know, but mostly the, the things that have happened in my life, I'm just like, wait, you're going to let that kid sleep outside? And yeah. they're like, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, 
uh, well, fuck. All right. I guess I'll keep it. You know, yeah. so that's kind of how a lot of this stuff happened. But and I, you said that a lot of people call you mom. A like lot of people have call me that, mom. Do you they, have that kind of instinct? I got with big everyone? mom energy. Okay. So that's why I can relate with you. BME. I understand. Yeah. You got right. a lot of BME. Yeah. Huh? They just didn't slide out. But, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big mom and energy. And they do just and slide, slide out. It's out. No big well, deal. if you're lucky, it's not even a big there deal. some people it takes a second. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, that's no, what no, I said. That's what I said to Jess when she was pregnant. And I was like, what's the big deal? They just slide they just out. Slide out. You don't and have it, to do anything. Yeah. Did it? I, no. I'm calling it it now. She no. was in labor, what was it, 28 hours last time? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, but, but that's you, not what we're talking about. You what? can pay people to do it for you though, because uh, I know that I now. was doing. I used to do like uh, celebrity photography, and I did Kelsey Grammer. I hadn't been in Los Angeles too long at this point. I did Kelsey Gl- Grammer and his wife at the yeah, time. Camille. Goddamn right. Yes, yes. Did she take a shit during the the photography sessions? No, but I wish that would have been fun. He has IBS. Anyway. Oh, okay, very cool. famous. Cool. She's a big, big shitter. Big Widely IBS. Known. Big IBS. Big shitter, Widely yeah. known. Yeah. Big Widely IBS known. energy. Yep. Yes. Yes. Good yes. for her. Yeah. Any, anywhere very between clenched, four and right? eight yeah. shits a yeah. day. D- she is very clenched. There was yeah. a big clench vibe. Yeah. But the other thing was they had this little baby and I'm like, oh my God, you don't look like you could have had a baby. And she was like, I didn't. And I was like, <laughs> she was older, right? <laughs> it's, it, yeah, she was older, but she was like, no, I paid her to do it. Why am I going to, you know? Oh and I was like, God. oh, that's weird. I don't know why Kelsey she's ruining her, like, worried about you. ruining her body when she shits nine times a day. <laughs> that <laughs> right. might have been it. Maybe that was it. She didn't want to focus on something else. Or they didn't want to put an oil pan underneath her when she was <laughs> delivering or else it would have been baby and then just three pounds yeah, how of do you shit hold it? yeah wait so does she do commercials or how do we know all this about her bowels oh. um, she, she's she was, on the real housewives oh okay. yeah i didn't know if she was doing like ibs commercials or well if we she were came no. out and she was like she a did, out. she did like i want to take the stigma away yes. oh yeah. there's oh. some things you cannot take the stigma away right right nope. right mental right. health Sure. Sure. I like yeah. that. We're taking the stigma away. Uh, what's another one? Maybe HIV she was... stigmas away. It's yeah. like basically it's not great. even a thing. Casual. Yeah. IBS still stigma. Still got a stigma. Still now, stigma. granted, go ahead. We feel bad. All of that. But sure. I don't know if you're gonna make it cool. Do you know what I mean? No. Like we're not gonna no, wear a t-shirt. No. no, 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 no. no. Fuck yeah. 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 Like, yeah, I'm, too, I'm proud to right? no. hashtag me too. Yeah, yeah. 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 No one's admitting yeah. that. Yeah. They're like you're the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She starts yeah. making good clothes out of that. toilet paper. Yeah. And like yeah. we shall over. <laughs> yeah. So like, she uh, famously is the only one that's come out. You know what? Good for way. her though. She's a pioneer. In 20 years, we'll be like, wow, thank you for your <laughs> no, you're right. Go for her. You know, go for thank her. you for your bravery. She's really running shit. No, she probably was like. He did that. This he will did never that. stop. Either. He did it. Just like IBS. Yeah. Never so anytime, stopping. anytime I hear like a, a story about her of like trying to be cool or whatever, you can always go back to, well, you probably yeah. just took a shit three like seconds ago. Like when she's ago. being a bitch on Real Housewives, you're like, girls, it's fine. I mean, it's, she, it's fine. She might have just shit, shit her pants. constantly. Yeah. yeah. If you ever wonder why the lighting is is like that on that show. It's because there's 90 candles lit in her house <laughs> all to, day long. Yep. Trying to pivot around Just a little trying bit. to juggle. <laughs> yeah. Just lit matches everywhere. <laughs> a lot of open windows yeah. and lit matches at the, lot of, the lot grammar of household. Be- I've been watching. <laughs> Strategically placed for breeze. The Real Housewives is fun, though. It's, like, really it interesting. Is fun. Um, Cause I don't have cable. Other like people are like, oh, cause you're a good. P-. I'm like, no, I will watch Seven and Pregnant all day long. I have a terrible. Yeah, yeah. I just seven don't have it. Pregnant. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like I have a <laughs> yeah. terrible moral compass. I'm like, why yeah. are you yes, doing yes, this? And yes. where are you right now? You know, like yes. I can't get off it and the real housewives is like that i'm like yeah. oh my god i hope i'm that petty at 55 do you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. i hope that's all i need to worry about yeah it's yeah. like where my spritz is yeah and where the and that where is that bitch spritz? was talking about like i hope i care about that yeah you know? exactly <laughs> i hope life gets less like, stressful and that's 20 <laughs> minutes ago yeah <laughs> and i still i don't have the spritz and i've got to go yeah yeah they're doing a lot of hardcore bullying. I was mm-hmm. really, really everything that they go to fake fundraisers about. Yeah, oh, oh, we're gonna stop bullying, and they get on their show, and they're like, "Fuck you!" Yeah, exactly. yeah they're like, "You Fuck stupid you, fucking I'm speaking Kill out yourself. about." Yeah. yeah, and you're like, "What?" Yeah, exactly. Suicide Wait. prevention month. Yeah. You're yeah. earring yeah. shaming yeah. me, yeah. and you're like, "Oh, <laughs> fuck off, dude!" I can't watch any of that shit. If I walk in the room and it's on. I want to pick the TV upset. up and throw it out the window. I think yeah. that's why I like it, though, because I'm like, how what is life like for you? Like, my life has been very interesting. So yes. when I watch stuff like that, I'm like, what? 
what is that like? What is like? Do you know what I, I mean? think it's boring, right? I mean, yeah. and that's the whole point of the show is like they have so much fucking money you can't even imagine it. Yeah, and they're yeah. and then they have to do bored, weird dude. shit to be entertained by their they're own bored. money. Yeah. And they start fights with their fucking neighbors. Yeah, for other rich friend neighbors over nothing. You have to and it's though. Sad. Yeah. When you're yeah, just when like, you're uh, rich and bored, you have to do weird shit. Yeah. Your like husband that. got drunk at my barbecue and slammed his ding dong in our microwave. Yes. <laughs> I was watching one though where they were like bullying. They said that the one woman's husband was gay, and then they went on like a, a yeah. campaign. I was just like, wow. Yeah. You know. But you know, everyone has that. Well, we're all gay. It's 2019. We're all all uh, we're all yeah, no, spectrum. You can't you know identify as anything. No, no. Yeah. We're fluid. No, we're all Everything's fluid. Everything's very fluid. We're all fluid. No gender anymore. We were talking about this too. Pretty soon, everybody's going to start looking like each other, and that's going to be it. Yes. Yeah. They're all starting Tell to them look about like your a, a yeah. brat doll. Well, yeah. One of my friends is getting like internet bullied right now, which is just incredible because you know everyone's in their mid to late. 20s moving into their 30s so i'm like, like who's got down. time for yeah, that yeah, i want yeah. your job yeah you just yeah. get to bully adults like what is that yeah also a show but um <laughs> so but the weird thing was she was trying to catch me up on which one it was and i was like no but that's the same girl as that one and they all have similar names but they have the same doctor yes. so they all yes. look like the same person now yeah. and are they all instagram oh kind yeah. Of model? yeah yeah okay. yeah, yeah. Yes, and yes, they're all the a... same guy and i can't mm-hmm. tell them apart and then they wear the same outfits it's just miraculous mm-hmm. It's all starting wow. very sim world like. Yes, huh? yes. Who, so who do you date in real life then? You go have you like dated any type? rappers and shit? Um no rapper well, yes, I have, but I don't date rappers because so cool they're ones? trash cans. Yeah. Um they're cool, but you know, I don't know. It takes it's not a good life. Like a like a good one, like an M M or something. Like did you date a good one? Yeah, M and M. Holler at your girl. One. Yeah, yeah. By good one. By good you one you mean white? Like a good rapper. <laughs> oh, it has to be a no, good no, no, like a good, an actual Yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah, a yeah, white yeah. person. No, you no, guys no, are racist. I don't know what a good you, rapper. It like, would have hey, to be a good rapper. You were saying. Did you ever date Kendrick Lamar? No, but I love him. Yeah. I love him. Like a great rapper where you're like, holy shit. Well, they have to be really good because otherwise I can't respect them and then I'd have to write their bars for them. But at the same time it's like a weird it gets weird because they don't want me to be a good rapper so it's too much rappers plus they sleep with a lot of people on tour so you can't really trust that no you know no. what i mean you can't yeah. trust a rapper yeah i, I you're a you rapper can, can we trust you yeah, yeah. well i was gonna Are you say yeah, around exactly. on tour? i was gonna say no well, i've never single. done it i've never done it okay i've never slept with anyone on tour i can't imagine doing it though because you have to see them like the next stop. Not thing? even that though. Like what sleeping about, like, with your fan? fans. Like yeah. how oh, fucking yeah, yeah, weird yeah. would that be if yeah, I yeah, fucked yeah. a fan? <laughs> I know. It'd be great for them. It would be tight for them. It would be really good. Yeah, I mean, that would I'm be... I'm sure I've probably fucked a fan before and not known and it, And didn't though. know it, yeah. Because yeah. they were stealthy happens. about it. I remember... I don't remember the kid's name, but it was maybe six months of my life. I don't know. But he kept dropping things on me that I loved, but he had, like, stalked me on the internet, and it mm. took me a while to piece it together. Oh, shit. But he'd be like, oh, Joni Mitchell. And I'm like, oh, I love Joni Mitchell. And he's like, oh, it's just... It's West. Dude, that's like <laughs> you, that show you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know oh, what this yeah. is. Talk to but me. that's what it is. It's Basically, cable? he like that's on Netflix. Her. Oh, I it. saw that. Yes, yeah. We've yes. had the author yes. on the show. She was a guest yes. on the show. She who wrote the books, and uh, so we but got it's basically into that. A comment, it's about stalking. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a comment on social media now, where it's Today, like yeah. people yep. can know everything. They look at like the address beside where you were at this one restaurant, and then from that they find. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And oh yeah. yeah. This has happened to me like, on multiple occasions. I'm sure, which is probably why I don't date often because I'm like I don't <laughs> don't know what I don't know you, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've had stalkers. Like I had a person break into my house and like light a candle and then like slash my tire. Like I just I don't know. Whoa, light, light a, a candle? candle? Yes, isn't that fucking weird? And then they left. Yes. While you were what? there, that while you were was gone. the scariest shit while I was sleeping. But that was actually the scariest <laughs> thing that's ever happened to me. So, and I've been kidnapped. Like it's fine. Sure, that we was all? the scariest thing though <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's so much more threatening. Who kidnapped you? Oh yeah, it's so you? much creepier. It's like, so much creepier. Do you know what I'm saying? They're yeah, like yeah, 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 lit a yeah, candle. Yeah. Yeah, I want to spend the rest of my life it's, with it's you. It's like saying like you <laughs> look, <laughs> you look pretty face. when you were sleeping last yes. night, right? Yes. And then you just know someone was in there, but you didn't 
know they, they were there. They looked at me while <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, asleep. Yeah, yeah. I'd much rather you rape and pillage oh, me. yes, please. You know what I mean? Wait, <laughs> don't watch me sleep. No, yeah. too far? Or do you like that one? You love rape I'd and much pillage? I'd rather you I, I, rape and pillage rape me. Rape and pillage. It's too far. Okay. Then like, tell, Not at all. Then I, like take a picture of me sleeping. Yes. Yeah. Don't watch me mm, sleep. Mm, that mm, just mm, gives mm. me so much anxiety. So I was going to yeah. ask you about the kidnapping incident. Oh, yeah. Since so you brought I up did, rape. So that well, did happen. Yeah, did you get so, raped yeah, when yeah, you were kidnapped? Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, I got kidnapped. So that's why I was saying gangbang. I was like, well, technically, I don't know what it takes. To <laughs> it takes a- multiple men. Was it a lot so of... So I guess it was... A- but it wasn't at the same time. So... Who, who you took you and why? I got kidnapped by three men from a park. And I lost my virginity. I don't know why, but I'm How sure they you? wanted to rape me. 16. 16. 16. Yeah, 15, 16. Yeah. And so you... And then they, you they raped you? very young features. Yes. They took me to a park. Uh, they, when they got me from a park and they took me to an abandoned building with like caution tape over the doors and they held me there. And that was... Yeah. How long? Probably... I, I don't really technically know because time is too linear. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Days? It was days, but it was probably about two days. Was it on the news and it shit? It was not on the news. It's Los Angeles. So they couldn't was find Los the Angeles. guys, but I broke Black, out. Black, white, They were Spanish. Mexican. Okay. And uh, I broke real out. Real Mexican or? Real Mexican. Their mom uh, lied to them. I'm so no. sorry. No. Their moms may have lied to them, but they had <laughs> told the them they weren't. Yeah. And they had the shape. You so seem relatively and, normal about it. Yeah. I actually am, and I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, that's just one moment. <laughs> like, imagine adding it all up, and that's what I was saying do earlier. Do you do therapy or you do yourself? Like um, well, you, you that's are... actually why I became a life coach okay. is because I had a lot of really traumatic stuff happen and you got through and it. I got through all of it and, and really did pretty well, you know, like right. I was like, I'm doing better than most people. And so that's kind of how the life coaching started. Okay. Cause I was like, we don't have to, you know, obviously those things are sad and it's very difficult for anyone that's been through that. It's hard. Yeah. And that's why I love veterans, you know, PTSD, all of those different things. But at the end of the day, there's so many things that you could do to recalculate your brain chemistry, change the way you look at the world. And not just wallow in and the victimness w- yeah, of it. And not wallow. Which you seem like the opposite of that. Yeah. Crazy, I'm not a wallower. Like, I don't, yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. can't stand wallowers. Like even you're saying like I was raped and kidnapped. Yeah. I know, like I, it was just <laughs> another day at the J-O-B and I was like fuck. I actually do. I, I'm not right now currently but I've done a ton of motivational speaking and, yeah. and all these things but I'm I'm actually an asshole too so it's like I forget that I sound wildly insensitive to people like I was I no, did this it's women's how you event. deal with it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I did this women's event. I was like, you know, I grew up on a nudist colony, got molested, just a flick of the wrist at that point, no clothing to separate it, whatever. So I'm going through this whole thing, and this woman starts sobbing. She's like, I was molested. I don't think it's funny. And I was like, it's not funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're like, I'm not sorry, <laughs> but it was just a part of my and life. And you yeah. just laughed in yeah, her face. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it's not funny for you. And then I'm sorry. And you said, you said nudist colony. Yeah, well, that was uh, that was the beginning. Yeah, there's a lot of different portions to the whole thing. But there was, so basically. I, How old were you in the, at, the, at the nudist colony? That Is was about your family? five. To, yeah, my dad was a wonderful human being but mostly a heroin addict ah. so you know shit gets kind of messy yeah, yeah. in those things so yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was amazing i i got a lot of work experience i can make a drum out of an animal ah. you know because that when, when does that come I in handy that. just out of curiosity know. you never it doesn't in la no, you know, not at all. Yeah, no. yeah, they don't like that. No, that's Love really taxidermy, fucking though. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah you said you own a lot fan. of taxidermy. I own a lot of taxidermy. My favorite is Hank. Uh, I always consider him like from Texas, like a cowboy, because uh, he's a cowboy with a gun. Um, and people in Los, he's a squirrel. Okay, oh, it's squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. Yeah, yeah, what animal? He's not a man. Yeah, he's a yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. stuffed yeah. squirrel. And people are cowboy always, squirrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's I fire. Love that. He's amazing. Yeah, but people don't like it. Do you do any of it yourself, or you have not it done? anymore? Okay. Yeah, because sure. now I'm. Yeah, I've out of the taxidermy I've been, biz. Yeah, I haven't been eating meat. Now I'm kind of like a hippie. I'm a walking contradiction. Really, <laughs> that's actually okay. You know. So you're not eating meat? No, I'm not eating meat. Are you vegan or just meat? No meat? I'm no meat, but mostly... This is only in the past, like, seven months. Is okay. that a choice? Yes. What is it this It was for? kind of like this weird thing. Like, I woke up and I just had a different consciousness. And it was basically about, like... Look at all the world. This is going to sound crazy, but and I've all, not at all. Say after everything, everything you well, said say today. everything you want to say. I had kind of a spiritual uh, experience and I have been having a spiritual experience for the past few months. And I woke up and I had this like moment. And I what I heard was, 
you just worked through all your trauma throughout your whole life and now you're gonna eat someone else's trauma and then try to work through that does that so, make sense? Yeah. So someone else was coming through you. Well, I was just hearing. I've always kind of had a inter. Let's call it intuition. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For well, now. Like, <laughs> medium? No. Can yeah. We, say that? we could talk about it, but it's so new. I don't know where yeah, yeah, it's yeah, you going don't know what yet. It is. But I've been doing a lot of reading since I've been in New York. So I guess yeah. Psychic. You, oh, well, well, let's. Can you do it now? No. No. You don't. You can't turn it on because you're still kind of practicing. I you're can still turn it learning. on, but I for the past three weeks i've been trying not to because i've stumbled into a lot of shit that you don't know about until you do it like for example if let's say i'm friends with you guys for 30 years and i woke up to you and i've found out that you're cheating or something like shit like that has been happening so i really have not wanted to participate you're gonna have to tell me which (laughs) i'll let you know yeah but that's the kind of stuff that's been happening so i'm interested in this only because um, do you feel like you're good at reading a room and yes. reading people? And, and I've you've always, always been, been really like intuitive, right? very intuitive. And also so, like known when my boyfriend cheated on me. Just and, knowing. Well, saw the girl, you know, knew and do was you with think them. That's so it's either like you're a medium or your intuition is so heightened. Right. I think honestly, what I really believe is that there's going to be a lot of different people coming in in the next few years we're going to see people with a lot more gifts right Right. just different things because why is that well there's a lot of stuff going on energetically and otherwise but even when you see these new kids a lot of people think that they're you know they're autistic or they have adhd or all these different things they're actually just gifted in different ways we're creating you know through evolution i believe that there's a whole new you know, I don't want to say like superhero kind of vibe, but these new kids are coming in and they're capable of doing a lot of things that we weren't. And I think How video hopeful. games are a part of that consciousness. You know, the way sure. that they use their brain is different. That's so funny, man. Like when Rizwan Verk was on, he wrote this book called The Simulation Hypothesis. Well, yes, my alarm. that's about um, drinking. Uh, that's your drinking alarm. <laughs> that's now. my drinking. You alarm. should probably drink more. Yeah. About the simulation hypothesis yes. and whether or not we were living in a simulated world. We are living in a simulation, in my opinion. In her opinion, yes. Also, the but, reason I say that, though, is because I woke up about seven months ago and I started downloading universal consciousness and I thought I was having a mental breakdown because that couldn't I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? Like after my life, I'm like, maybe this is what a mental breakdown looks like. Boo. Right. right. Yeah. We don't know because right. I was literally hearing things. But also that's the Grammy. That's the music career. Like everything that I've gotten in life was because I heard a voice. Right. And I followed it. So sure. I, I just didn't tell anybody that, you know? Yeah. But now I'm older and I don't give a fuck what people think. But it's still been a little weird. So six months ago, seven months ago, I started downloading this consciousness. And it was all about the simulation. And it was also about the ascension. And it was also about these kids and, you know, helping them kind of move forward. And so that's why with me, if you talk to any of my friends and they're like, Syra doesn't eat meat, they'd be like, the fuck? Yeah. But yeah, it was when like, was this? I yeah. can't. Because now I'm, you know, operating differently. Sure. And and I could tell it just cuts me off from being good at what I'm supposed to be doing, which is helping people. And you think it's simulated world, too. So uh, you guys are in agreement I, with that. I, well, here's the thing. So I'm... Fuck, man. With, I, with all of this shit, like, I'm your... your and she'll tell you this. I'm, I'm probably your, your stereotypical dudes, dude. Yeah. I like sports. I like meats. I like, I like you know, that. Yeah, that's sex. Good. That's about it for me, right? Yeah. Uh, and making that's money. It. <laughs> that's it. Those four that's things. Okay. I like my kids. I was going to say, but. My wife. <laughs> sex. Well, she's the sex part. Like, yeah, no, I figured that simple. out. Simple. And then what he meant to say is I'm a simple, simple. man. Yeah, I like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Skinner wrote a song about me. Uh, <laughs> yes. Either way, um, I never considered myself like spiritual or to, to, like, to even entertain the thoughts of any of this shit until. Uh, this this one book that I was reading about the simulated hypothesis and and I was like all right I I'm I on this show we we have a bunch of weird people all the time and and whatever this is par for the course and so I was like Thank let's you. just have him on and see <laughs> if he's <laughs> no, off the reservation the or not or if he's actually based in something because he's right. a, yeah. he's a current he's MIT really professor fucking smart right. and yeah, so I was yeah, like yeah. they wouldn't let him be a professor if he was crazy Ill, right. and he came on the show and he was fucking fantastic normal conversation like this right yes. about the gangbang and <laughs> after talking to him about it uh he was like look man i'm not one of those crackpot people who's like dude this is real and this is what we're going through he goes all i'm saying is scientifically yes. from all the research i have done 
there is a greater than 60% chance that we're living in a simulated world. Here's why. And the program he runs at MIT is this the, the VR program for, for kids and the, and the video games and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, how Maybe to you guys should talk. advance. I would absolutely love that. I can give you his number because he just started a podcast. I would love um, that. And he is in Los Angeles. And, uh, dude. <laughs> Great guy and a great guest. Like, you guys could talk for hours. I would love that. Because yes. also when this happened to me, I mean, honestly, like, I've always been a life coach. I'm always relatively positive. I meditate. But beyond that, I also, you know, go to Vegas, get turned up and ra- ghost write for rappers. Like, I, it wasn't like I woke up one day and was like, I want to sound really fucking crazy to everybody. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beyond you how crazy I already sound. About- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't need more. But... That was just what happened, and that's like really what's been happening. And as a direct result of, you know, also reading about this stuff, I'm like, God, it's so real. But the the book I w- was first told to read or drawn to is the Holographic Universe, and it's basically about how Einstein and all these other brilliant, brilliant, brilliant men had already discovered that there was more going on here. Correct. And it actually makes all of the scientific beliefs, minus a flat Earth, work. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. Um, but there was he talked about this in the book and he talked about it on the show where there was a portion where, um, you know, you're one of the most important discoveries. And I think it was Einstein. Dan, you might be able to correct me if I'm wrong on this. Their last big discovery was that this next phase was data that instead of the out in the world, instead of people and shit, it was data instead of physical. Do you mean that data was being collected and then almost creating yes. the sim? Yes, correct. And yes. That, that was one of their. It's always Stephen Hawking. Okay, and, and that was one of the last biggest discoveries of like, hey, man, we're data. And once he was talking about that, combined with everything else that's going on, it would make sense. And then also, there's a lot of fucked up shit that happens in the world. Yes, that there is no explanation for. Like ninety of the stories you told today, right? There's there is no explanation why that why that happened why. And brought you to this point yes. that you are. Right. And, li- and, and little kids and things like that. And you're like, man, why do that shit if, you know, if this wasn't some right. video game where you're like, man, I, I could run over this child today and it's not going to matter because it's a fucking video game. Right. And the character is going to get prison or life in prison or whatever. You just don't care. Like, I don't know the answers for any of that. Therefore, I can't shit on any of those theories or guesses or, or hypotheses well, you whatever just said they are something so interesting too because it honestly for a person like me it would probably make more sense to for me to talk myself into the fact that it's a simulation considering everything that's happened yeah, you're like can it yes. please be a simulation? yeah let this be yeah. a motherfucking game can there be a reason yeah but yeah, yeah honestly i mean the things that i've seen so this stuff that happened to me i kept secret but the truth is is that as i started to go on this kind of bizarre journey, I found a lot of other people that have gifts or that have things they need to pull to the forefront. And so the reason I came to New York actually was because I had to write a book about it. So I'm writing a book right now, but it's all about how to unlock the game. Gotcha. Nice. Um, yeah. Dude, you're one of the most fascinating people on the planet. Oh where, can any, <laughs> where can anybody find you? I don't know. I mean, the internet. just All the bullshit? Yeah, just S-I-R-A-H. Find me. I, I'm always talking to people on Instagram. I'm really kind of bad at the internet right now. Yeah, so, we, so is this one. We yeah. can be friends. Yeah, like I, I jump in. But you're just so cool, and I really like so you. You're so cool. Can you and I'll just, just come meet you guys to in North Wilmington yeah. and yeah. just yeah, yeah. do a series That's of shows? Like, like, yeah, let's go. I, I'm living in a Toyota right now. So. Beautiful. <laughs> really? No, not, I'm not really. But I drove there's a shower here, at so the I got to drive back. <laughs> there's, a sh- there's a full <laughs> So I'll live at your shower office. There. There, full, there you go. There was a bedroom at one point. I know. Well, That's fine. I have a lot of work to get done anyway. Let me ask you where you're going. Uh, this, that's a deep. That's the deepest question yeah, no. you've asked. Are you going me. to Los Angeles? <laughs> I'm like, yes. Oh, you are. Yes. She's going back. Home, and what are you going to do? I'm not really sure. I still have to go be a rapper. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna. <laughs> I've. I don't really know. I do a lot of different things. So I'm gonna go back home and do some of those things. I. I have a podcast too. Dinner party. I've got some stuff. We throw shows once a month. I. I write. I'm working on people's records and albums right now. How often does your podcast come out? Yes. Yeah, um. Once a week on Dash. On Dash. Yeah. What, what, what is Dash? Par- Forgive me. It's dinner party. Dinner party with Jeremy Fall. You guys would love him. He's a great human. I feel like I've heard of it. And Dash is what? Pay? You pay for Dash it? Dash is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I want to do my app. own, but I'm not organized enough. Sure. But I might at some point. Fucking move to Wilmington. We could make that happen. To, let's do it. There we go. You know what's wild? Xander, one of, our, lives there. one of our yeah, other producers is off camera. It is 
It is never the most famous people that give, like, this is one of the greatest interviews ever, right? Oh my God. It is never the most yeah. famous people Love that it. you're like, God damn it, can you just put this human's fucking voice into somebody else's body and then we can do the perfect interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're rad, dude. Thank um, this you. I really Thank enjoyed you guys the so shit out of this. Put it into another and body. And feeding me. And fine just the way no, no, no. Should. But because uh, <laughs> it's, it's a great body. You know the, look, every, but body. you know the gig though. Of, like we're going to Post Malone tonight, yeah. right? Uh, are you a fan of his rap wise? Um, yeah, I love Post, and we've so, done. So do I. Yeah. We've done. Oh, uh, great. I think. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but we've done uh, shows together. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. awesome. I love him. Um, but you, the, but the reason being is like we're hoping to interview Post Malone, right? Right. right. Uh, this but is the so interview you to... hope for out of the the because you need famous people in order to go mainstream and help out your show and all that other stuff. Totally. I'm also a, a gigantic fan of Post Malone, so it it's it's, it's amazing, right? But uh, yeah, you're always worried about what how the interview is going to go because we've we've interviewed people in the past that oh it can like, get really rough too. Oof. Thank God you Please. guys are and because you really richest, have to carry the convo sometimes I know. and it gets one of the richest we people we've to. ever had on the show was one of our worst interviews and you were like the richest yes and I'm not going to say who it was Dan knows but um he's me. off camera Dan, you got to tell me yeah uh, spell and it, it was out. it was <laughs> it was just like pulling teeth and and you're like man. The, the show did really well because of who the person was, not because of, of the interview. Anything that happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so. it also sucks. Like, if you don't want to do something or you're not going to participate, then don't fucking do it. Xana, this know. is two for two as far as musicians go who are off the beaten path. Barnes, Courtney, and her have been the two funnest, two of the funnest interviews we've done in like the last six months, I say. So, anyways, thanks Just for being here. Months. You're fucking rad. <laughs> no, we've done six months. We've done so, yeah. a thousand. We, we do seven shows a week. So. Oh yeah, that's pretty good numbers. So. Yeah, I like, I mean, you're looking I at, like those <laughs> numbers. You're yeah. looking at hundreds of shows I found at math that point. So. Or didn't go, but yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those numbers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking a. This was awesome. Uh, let's drink and uh, and go see Post Malone. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Revolution. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.